Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at a neat new tool we have at Bedmix. It's called My Race Report, and it allows you to create a group of similar races uh, and test mixes against those races or use that report to create mixes. Uh, you find this under Tools and Create My Report. There's also a Test My Report, but we'll get to that in a second. So you create, what you're doing here is you're creating a report. You click that and it brings up a screen that's very similar to the uh, race search, exactly the same as that, except for uh, in, in this report, you're going to be able to group these or add them to a report. So just like in race search, you're going to select a date, and we will uh, we'll go back to, we'll, we'll say February 1st through March 2nd. We'll pick a racetrack. We'll say Santa Anita Park, and let's, let's find turf races. So we'll click on turf races, and we'll say one mile. So we set the sliders down here to one mile, and we hit find races. It comes back, and as you can see down here, it tells you there's 25 races, uh, turf, one mile turf races that have been, have been run at Santa Anita from February 1st through March 2nd. So we want to look at the probably the most recent. So we'll we'll change the date, and so that's going to put the most recent races on top, starting with uh, March 2nd. Now, we want to go through here, we want to click these if we want to add them to our report. Now, I'll click these. I'm going to skip the uh, maiden special weight races and uh, maiden claiming races, but we'll just, uh, we'll add the, you know, uh, regular claiming, allowance, and if there's any stakes races, we'll add those too. So, uh, one, two, three, I'm going to select ten of these. Alright, so I've gotten, I've selected 10 races by clicking the little checkbox next to the uh, track name. Now I'm going to give this report a name. I'll go up here. Let me zoom in so you can see. I'm just going to type uh, Santa Anita uh, One Mile Turf. And I'll click Save. So now we've saved this report. We've selected 10 One Mile Turf races from Santa Anita and we've added them to the report called Santa Anita One Mile Turf. Now I can go down and I can select some more races here and then I'd click Add To and that would also add them in to this report. Let me go down and select uh, another one just to show you. I'll select this one uh, which was on February 1st and I'll say Add To and now it's added. Now we have a, a uh, now we have 10. I didn't have 10 before now we have 10 races. So. Um, so that's the report. It's one mile turf, uh, Santa Anita. Now I click the test button, and this is going to open up a new window called Test My Report. This is the uh, this looks very similar to the results screen that you would find under Tools, but now instead of looking at a particular date and all the races on that date, it's only looking at the the report we've just created, which you see up here called Santa Anita One Mile Turf. It brings up these ten races and shows you in the results um, when you select a mix uh, it grades it now if we would have just you know if we if we went by speed we can see that uh, that that's not so hot it, we would have lost 1160 using that speed button which is nothing more than just preset speed things uh, earnings trainer jock none of them are very profitable so what we want to do here is we want to create a mix that's going to work on these 10 one mile turf races at Santa Anita and the idea being if it works on the the 10 most recent will it work on the next 10 now you can add up to 15 races to your my race report if you go any we, we, we've tested it with using more than that and the problem is if you get 20 25 30 races in there it all becomes an issue with each individual's computer and how much RAM you have because all this data is being loaded into your browser into your computer we send it to you but if you're not if your computer's not powerful enough to manipulate that data in the browser it becomes very slow and can actually shut it down so for the time being we've limited that to 15 some of you may have computers that could handle 40 uh, but others probably will struggle with uh, 15 if you've got an old computer so uh, keep that in mind all right so the idea here is let's let's create a mix that works on these 10 turf races I like to start by just turning on each factor one at a time and looking at how how the results change best lifetime speed not 
not very predictive for this race, for this group of races. Best speed number today's track, well that's a little bit better. Make sure I've hit the reset button here and cleared this out. Best speed at the distance. So I like to go down and I, f I like to find a, a particular factor that may be better than others. All right, so average best two out of three. That was pretty good. It didn't give you a profit on the win, but as you can see, it had uh, a lot of uh, horses that placed and showed using just that particular factor. So I go ahead and turn that on or, or put a 10 next to it and then I turn it off. And the reason I turn it off is because I want to remember that I liked that factor, but I don't want it to apply when I'm, I'm looking at my, my next factor in the group. So it's off right now, so it's just the same as being zero. So I'll go through each one of these and I'll, I'll pause this for a second while I do that so that I'm not going to bore you going through uh, each one at a time. Okay, so I've gone through these factors one at a time and you can see that the ones that I've turned off with a 10 by them are the ones that I feel like were predictive for this particular race type. So now let's go in and turn them all back on. Average last three purse, average earnings today's track, jockey current meet, and last late pace. So now we've turned on those factors and you can see that uh, as a group it's still it's still negative on the on the profit for the win. Now here's where you go through and you can start refining those, adding more weight or less weight to them to determine all right, we dropped that down to five, now we're profitable on the win, and we can go back and, and, and change some stuff on the uh, how each particular factor looks or is weighted. You can see as I move that average last three purse, I moved that up to 20 down here, and now we're now we're getting profitable on the win. Turning that earnings off, now we're really doing good, even though it was predictive uh, by itself in combination with the speed and the uh, other factors. It becomes uh, here's 46. So all right, now the, I'm not going to. I could try to get better, but this is pretty good on its own. Here we've got. Uh, We've predicted six winners, and every single one of the top-ranked horses has hit the board. We've made a profit on exactas and trifectas. So, uh, you know, you look at this, and, and looking at the factors I have turned on here, which are uh, last late pace at 10, jockey current meet at 5, average best two to last three speed at 5, in the money percentage at 14, and average last three purse at 20. And if you go over here now, you can see that, all right, that the top-ranked horse here finished first top ranked horse here finished second I'll zoom in a little bit um, and this next race which was the uh, February 14th race 5 the top ranked horse finished second top ranked horse second second first top ranked horse here scratched so it goes down to the to the next one which was a uh, number one and it came in first first so you, you can go through and look at each one of these races and this looks like a pretty strong mix for one mile turf races at Santa Anita I like it so I'm gonna save it I just from here I can click the save mix button call that Santa Anita one mile turf and now it's available of course in your drop-down list to uh, to use for any any future race that you see that meets those conditions. So again, you can, you can look at this, you can go back and say, all right, now I'm going to edit this mix or edit my report again. And uh, I can click these X's and remove races. And go back and select other races to add to it. I can delete the report and start all over again. The idea here is you can go through for any racetrack, any race type, select a group of similar races, and create a report that you can test with the results. Now we have results data now all the way back through 2000, um, January 1st, 2013. So over a year's worth of data for you to look at. So that'll cover all the meets from the past. And and uh, of course, we'll be adding data for every track going forward. Uh, so a pretty large sample for you to, to create and test mixes. Um, again, I can't, I can't stress how, how useful this is going to be uh, in creating mixes and in testing the ones you already have. Um, so if you think you've got a good mix for uh, 
you know, six furlong dirt races at fairgrounds, well, go create a report and test your mix against it and uh, see how, how well it actually does. Uh, it's a great time saver and a, and a very insightful tool for you to be using. And if you all have any questions about how to use this, uh, please just send me an email and we will uh, help you as much as we can. Best of luck.